Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution to discuss. Well, basically, uh, sum of cubes proof. I showed in my previous video where I just I showed where if it's something like 1 plus 2 plus 3, I showed the proof of that, and then the uh, other one before, if with squares, if it was 1 square plus 2 square plus 3, all the way down. But now I want to show this this proof. It's similar to my squares proof video. So basically, you have a sigma i is initially 1 up to n of i cubed, one, 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed, all the way to n cubed, you're just going to get this formula. The sum is going to equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2, all to the power of 2. And now we're going to start off with this telescoping sum, which I showed before my in the squares video. And it's just a useful tool. Before I had it to the power of 3 here, now I'm going to do a power of 4. It's useful because it collapses, and usually called the collapsing sum, and then you could uh, use it to prove this. And I'll, I'll show you what what it is again. So basically, you have this one here, sigma, well, i is initially 1 up to n, of i plus 1 to the power of 4 minus i to the 4. And if you write this out, remember, this one's just going to be 1 greater than whatever i is. If, if i is 1, it's going to be 2. So we're going to have 2 to the 4 minus 1 to the 4 in uh, bracket and then plus now the next term is going to be a 2 this is going to be a 3 then so we're going to have a 3 to the 4 minus a 3 I mean a 2 to the 4 now since we have this here uh, and, and as you keep going on as you can see this this would cancel this would cancel and the next term is going to be well 4 of 4 minus 3 of 4 so then this would cancel, this would cancel, and you, and you keep going on, the 4 is going to cancel, plus, etc., all the way up to, well, n, this is going to be n plus 1 to the 4 minus, this is going to be n to the 4 here. This is the last term here, and when you look at this order, you'll see that this will cancel out, nothing to cancel out here, because this one, this cancels, and you're going to have a 5 to the 4 minus 4 to the 4, and the second last term here is going to be a plus n to the 4 minus n minus 1 to the 4. And then, so basically this would cancel with this, and this one would be would cancel earlier. So it would have canceled earlier. So this is, so we're left with just two stuff, because as you can see, it collapsed to, into each other, so it's going to be n plus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1 to the power of 4, or just equals to, well, n plus 1, 4 minus 1. And to uh, f basically foil this out, you can use my foil method. Remember, this is just equal to n plus 1, well, squared, and then the squared on top, negative 1. So then the inside is going to be, well, this is just going to be n squared. If you foil out using the foil method, 2n plus 1. You can see the video link on, uh, uh, yeah, on the info below, basically, to, to see how the, the foil method proof of it. And also now you could do, you could foil this out in a, well, I have this quick method, you just make a table. Yeah, and you, you would just write down whatever, because this isn't squared, so this times by itself, so you write down each term on the top and on the bottom here, just, and then multiply each single column and row. This is going to be, and the 4, this times this one here is going to be, it's going to be 2n cubed, this is going to be n squared, and this and this is going to be 2n cubed, this is going to be n squared. This is going to be 2n here, this is going to be 4n squared, and now this is going to be 2n, this last one is going to be 1, and then you just add them up on the diagonals, because diagonals are the same, n cubed, n cubed, n squared, n squared, n squared, and n, n here. So you're going to get n to the 4, the sum is in this case, or, or this term here, is equal to, well, n to the 4 plus, this one's going to be 4 n cubed, and then plus 6 n squared, adding these diagonals, and then plus 4 n, and then plus a 1 here. So that's what this uh, whole thing here, or this n plus 1 to the power of 4 equals this, but then you have to subtract 1 to get the final formula, so then we just go equals, well, that summation, yeah, that the telescoping sum in this case is going to be equal to n to the 4 plus 4n cubed, yeah, plus 6n squared plus 4n, and the 1s cancel, so we're left with this one here. And now I'm going to show that using, basically we have this formula for this, and then we could also get a different formula if we do a different method here, if we initially break this down, uh, factor it out first, or foil it out. Yeah, so if we foil this out, this is this one's exactly the exactly the same as n plus one, but now we have an i there. So we're gonna get this one here, where you could just write that down. This is just equal to n i equals one. Yeah, then we just write down. This is what we have here. This is fact uh, foiling out the n plus one to the power of four, but this time we replace n with an i. Then we have to subtract the last part, i to the four. This one here. 
And then this would cancel, these would cancel, you're left with... Yeah, you're left with uh, this function right here, 4i cubed, 6i squared, 4i and, and plus 1 here. And now if we use our uh, base sigmatation rules, you see in the intro to sigmatation, you can break this up into, well, separate summations. So this equals 2ni equals 1, uh, put the 4 out, and then i cubed, plus take the 6 out, it's going to be i squared, i equals 1 of n. And then plus 4 sigma i, i equals 1. And then the last one is just sigma 1, i equals 1, up to n here. So now we have four different sums here. This one, we'll just, this is what we want to solve. So we'll call it 4s. So, or just, we'll call this sum s that we want to solve. And now this one here, uh, if you saw my other video, this just equals to, well, 6 to, times the constant out times yeah this one the formula for this I showed in my earlier video on the on this is the sum of squares is gonna be n times n plus one times two n plus one divided by six and then for this one here just a sum of consecutive integers is gonna be four times we have to plug in the formula for that and that's just gonna be n n plus one you can see the video link for the proof of this and this one here divided by two and then the last sum, this one here, summing up 1 a million times, is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1, etc., up to n times. This is going to equals to n. You're just summing up, yeah, that's basically what n is. So plus n here. So then we have two formulas uh, for the telescoping sum. So this one and this one, and this one has s, so all we do is equate them and solve for s. Well, before the, we do that, let's just simplify this side first. This is going to be 4s, then the 6s cancel. And then plus, this is times this inside, we're going to have n squared plus n times it by 2n plus 1. And then all the way on this side here, this is going to be plus, this This is a 2n now. This cancels, it's going to be 2n and multiply inside. So we're going to have 2n squared plus 2n plus n here. And n is from this one here. And this one here, yeah, this is just multiplied 2n times n plus 1 is 2n squared plus 2n. So now we just, uh, these two together is going to be 3n here if we just simplify further and then we foil this out, multiply this by this and this by this and add them up, you're going to get equals to 4s plus is going to be 2n cubed, just looking at it there, just plus n squared plus 2n squared and then a plus a n here. So that's, uh, yeah, that's this times this plus this on this side here. And then plus 2n squared plus 3n. Now we simplify even further here. There is how many, uh, there's, yes, yeah, so we're going to have equals to 4s plus 2n cubed is 1 cubed. Now there's three terms with n squared. This is a 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. Plus 5n squared. And then this one's n and n. This is going to be 4n. So now we just equate it with our first equation, which was this one here. The, yeah, then when we put this together here, this is the first equation we got using the telescoping sum, just, just adding them up and seeing what happens. And then this is the one when we break them up apart before we, yeah, we basically break them up and then we just write them in, in separate sums and using the, uh, the proofs, yeah, proofs for the other sums, the squares and the consecutive integers, and we get this. So now we just solve for uh, 4s here. First, we'll just cancel the like terms. This and this cancel here. Now, if we add up the, if we just take everything on the other side here, make this one here is a 5n squared, is 6n squared. So now let's just write down what we can. So n of the 4 is by itself, plus 4n cubed minus 2n cubed is going to be 2n cubed. And then this part right here, 6 6n squared minus 5n squared is going to be and squared here, that, uh, other ones cancel, this would be 4s. So this is what 4s is equal to, let's just break this up a bit more. And this one, what we, what we could do, um, this part here, just take out the n squared out. So if we take that n squared, we're going to have n squared plus 2n plus, this one's going to be a 1 equals 4s. And as you can see here, this is a perfect square actually. If you this one is just equal to n plus 1 squared. Because if you FOIL this out, this just equals to, well, n squared plus 2n plus 1. And that's this one right here if you FOIL it out. 
So this is what it equals to, so thus 4s is equal to, yeah, 4s is just equal to, well, n squared times it by n plus 1 squared. And now we just divide out by 4, so s is going to be, well, n squared divided by n plus 1. Now everything's squared, so let's just write the 4 as a 2 squared instead of a 4. And then we just take the squared out, so this is going to be n, n plus 1 divided by 2, all squared. Yeah, and thus we've proven the sum of cubes of consecutive cubes. And this is, yeah, the proof here. It's pretty uh, abstract, like like the similar one to the squares one. You could do a similar one for if you were to do um, instead of cubes to the power of 4 and stuff. I think you could probably do it using the collapsing method as well. Well, well now let's just do an example just to uh, make sure at least we're, we're getting it right here. So example. So if you look at this example where n is equal to 4, remember this just equals 2, well, 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus 4 cubed. And then you could uh, sum these up, or let's just plug it into this formula above. This would just equal to, well, n is 4 in this case, so 4 times, now this is going to be a 5, divided by 2, all squared here. And now this one here, as you can see, this, this cancels. This is going to be a 2, and this 2 times 5, squared is going to be 10 squared just equals to 100. So yeah, so that's 100. Let's just sum this up manually to see if we got it right. So this is just going to equal to, well, 1 plus, this is an 8. And then 3 squared is, and 3 cubed is going to be, well, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. And then 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is actually 64. So if you add these up here, this is going to be a 9, and then if you sum up these two here, it's going to be a 36. And then the last one here, 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. So yeah, as I said, proof works. So yeah, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned. I mean, you could always drop, uh, download these uh, notes in the Dropbox link below. Let me know if it doesn't work. I'll fix it. But anyways, I hope you learned about this, this proof. It's similar to the sum of squares. You can see in the video link below. And also you see the proof for the... Uh, yeah, the other other proof as well for the sum of squares and the consecutive numbers and uh, in integers increasing at 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Also, for if you learned, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.